Do not worry. Well, howdy, everybody. Happy Thursday. Uh, we are here in case there wasn't an earthquake and uh, your houses are still intact and your TVs are still working. Welcome to a brand new episode of Do Not Worry. I'm your host, Anthony, joined by the lovely interns, Noor and Elijah. Keep going. Keep fuck. Keep a shabby. Good. I'm good. Kat khair, Allah. Alhamdulillah. Folks, uh, welcome. It's been crazy. Earthquakes. W- there might be an earthquake during the shoot. I hope not. And if something something happens, we run to the bunker. Uh, folks, we'd like to thank our sponsor for this episode. Our returning sponsor, 16 Millimeter. Folks, they've extended their offer. You can now get a free dessert at 16 Millimeter until the end of February. You got till the end of the month. No more excuses. Okay, so stick around to a little bit later in the show to find out how you can get your free dessert. The place is iconic. And we got, it's a hot episode. We got some Andrew Tate follow ups, okay? So just some updates, and then we're never going to talk about him again. Shada has a daughter now, and he's being a sure. creep. Shada has a wife and daughter now, Elijah. He has a child. Uh, we're going to talk about pronouns, folks. They, them. What do you think about pronouns? What do we think about pronouns? And I'm now a professional boxer, and I'm going to talk about that. Relative. My professional. Ex- my experience in boxing. <laughs> We're going to talk about all of that. But first, a quick thank you to a brand. We got, we got look, two new patrons this week. One of them asked to remain anonymous. So I shall respect her wishes. I'm just going to mention, I'm just going to say Rose. It's part of her name. Just, just a shout Just <laughs> as a thank you. She's done it before. She's been a patron before, and she's never asked for a shout-out. So... Thank you so much. And f- good friend, Le Josh, he's a, he's a producer, musician, used to work at Anrami. He works over at TikTok. Make sure we never get banned, Josh. Once our account, we're all, our account is always like in danger of getting banned. Take care of us there, man. Come on. I think I have a fun story. I had a job with Anrami. I was like, if you don't uh, interview me, I'll go on Spotify. I'm not going to be a year. So I'm not Spotify. Like, I'm not used Spotify anyways. <laughs> like, I like I like to support local stuff. So Spotify has more of the music that I wanted to listen to than Rami. No yeah. offense to Rami. Y- y'all y'all do good. Uh, so we've got a pretty so thank you to Le Josh Blonde patron. Thank you for joining. If you guys want to support us on Patreon, make sure I can pay the interns and make sure we can keep upgrading our equipment. Survive. But we've been bringing you longer episodes. If you guys oh, know, that's not for free, guys. And you guys notice ever since the Patreon. Uh, the show's gotten longer. Some people might say too long. Mm. Last week's episode was an hour and 40 minutes. That's like three regular episodes. So uh, we can't do this without your support on Patreon. So support us. There's a multiple tiers. Uh, we really count on you guys. Much love. Folks, earthquakes are uh, coming uh, fast and uh, furious. <laughs> I, I don't know why I said that. But uh, no, uh, I felt one. We're shooting this on a Tuesday. So there was another one on Monday that I felt. I was just chilling in bed. Again, everything started shaking. I'm like, God damn it again. It didn't move though, I just kind of stayed in my place. I was like, ah, fuck it. I'm not passing the same earthquake, but I'm not the So my friend, I can't have a sandwich, my friend can't have the angel. So she has to touch it. But I'm not a judge, but I'm not a judge. She's here blasting some bass, so heck, I'm not a judge. But 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 I'm not a judge. Oh no, I felt it, man. I felt it. Uh, you, you said, what was the magnitude? 6.8? Uh, it was 6.4, it was in Turkey. And it was 5.8. Poor guys. Look, it's fucked, man. And I have a little mini bunker. I was inspired by that video of the bed with the thing. I now have, like, I bought a, like a 12 pack of little water bottles. I have a box of Dr. Food wafers. This is, you might th- it's the only snacks I have in this house. So I have these <laughs> literally near my bed. I have a jar of peanut butter with a spoon. I'm ready to go, man. I'm ready to fucking go. I yeah, and and a very solid plan, so I'm going to uh, We're good to go, man. Yeah, I got a survival plan. I got some extra little fun things in there to keep me entertained. I'm not gonna Guys, talk. I'm not going to have an earthquake. Like yesterday when... No, when no, it technically. Happened, yesterday when it happened, I was on my balcony drinking wine with my friend. That's then, crazy, man. And then I checked my phone. They're like, are you Maybe okay? She was wait, drinking I wine already. I'm I'm yeah. feeling earthquakes that aren't even there. <laughs> I'm like... Anytime after every after every earthquake for like an hour, I'm like, okay, weird. Uh, <laughs> anything that moves, if there's something in, like if I'm watching TV and something in there moves, I'm like, is it an earthquake? <laughs> I had a dream about earthquakes like four days ago, bro. It's fucked up. Shit. Yeah. Imagine dying. I was afraid to shower yesterday. I'm like, what if I shower and then it starts like, I don't want to run run around naked, yeah. It's fucked. It's fucked. You gotta think about that shit. 
Anyways, moving on. Uh, the only way to defend yourself against an earthquake is by punching the debris and using <clears throat> your proper boxing footwork to dodge it. That's why I'm taking boxing lessons. <laughs> I, was I, told, I told you, no, lifting is lame. I told you guys last week that I, was, I wanted to sign up to boxing lessons. And I, well, I haven't signed up yet, but I start on Monday, folks. I start next Monday. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about this. I'm super excited, okay? I've not been excited for anything in years <laughs> as, exci as I'm excited for this. I swear to God, man, I've wanted to box for so long, okay? This is going to sound stupid to you guys, but yeah. I'm obsessed with the Rocky movies. I fucking love the Rocky <laughs> movies. I used to own the DVD box set. Then when it came out on Blu-ray, I upgraded to the Blu-ray. Like, I've paid for those movies twice. I, like, I watched... Rocky Balboa, the sixth one in the movie theater with my dad. Like, those movies mean a lot to me. Like, I have a connection with my dad with those movies. I used to have a Rocky poster in my college dorm room. I have a fucking Rocky action figure. I love the Creed movies. I don't know why. So, like, literally, I bought boxing equipment when I was, like, in my late teens or, like, maybe in my early 20s. I bought, like, a $20 Everlast leather jump rope. I bought training gloves. I bought, like, hand wraps, everything. But I never signed up to boxing classes. I was, like, either, like... I knew that I wasn't going to follow up and like follow through and like I'll probably like quit after a month. I'm not going to do it or like I'm not good enough. I'm too skinny or whatever. I just ne I always put it off and it's expensive. Like you can't sign up for boxing lessons as, as a child. But now, folks, that's it. I'm determined. And I went to uh, Box Yard. Uh, it's an awesome gym over in um, Zoo Musbah. And I met my coach, Sherbel Khouri, folks. Look at this beast. Look at this man who's going to be teaching me how to box. Look at that monster, folks. This guy's going to be teaching me. Check this out. This is him, like, I guess when he was, like, 19 years old, and now he's in his 40s. Look at this man in his 40s, guys. This is, and I think, from what I've heard and from what I've seen, this guy might be the best boxing coach in Lebanon. Check this shit out. Just, just watch this, man. I'm going to be like this guy. Give me two weeks. I'll be like this dude. Look at that brute force. Bro, this is my dream, man. Boxing is so cool. It's so fucking cool. Look at that, look at that footwork. Look at that technique. And I love the gym over there, man. They got all sorts of shit. Check it out here. Oh, so this, okay, this, dude. So <coughs> this is his nephew, okay? The guy in yellow, that's his nephew. He's like 18 years old. He's like one of the best young boxers in Lebanon. Look at that beast, bro. He was trained by Shedba, the guy who's going to coach me. Dude, that kid's fucking scary, man. I'm gonna be. Yeah, I, I might be seeing him uh, like at the gym, and like th now this is Sherbil yeah, machine gun co coaching Ryan. <laughs> so it's gonna be me. Give me a mug, bro. Look at that speed, Look at that precision. That's crazy, bro. That kid's so fucking good, man. Yeah, the next week, but the video. Yeah. I I do want to film myself because I do want to. Sh I want progress. To my, I want to see my progress myself, <laughs> and I want to make a fucking awesome. Guys, the only reason I'm doing this is I want. I was telling Noel before this. I want my life to become a Rocky training montage. The best part of any Rocky movie, any Creed movie, is the fucking montage when the music drops. Mm -hmm. You know what's mm -hmm. about to go down. You mm -hmm. know what's about to happen. There's gonna be running. There's gonna be jump rope. You're gonna see him struggling to do some sit-ups at first. Then he's getting stronger as the montage goes along. By the end, he's running up the fucking stairs. I've been to those stairs. I've taken a photo. Up those Philadelphia stairs, literally with my arms up as a little child. I was like, yay. Listen, folks. Guys, he even has the song, like, I have a playlist ready <laughs> on my Spotify. I have a whole boxing playlist ready to go. Not only that, folks. I used to be buff. Excuse me. I used to be buff. And thank, <laughs> you, for <laughs> thank you for mentioning that, Elijah. Because look, people don't. I used to work out. Okay. And none of my debate was. I, I wanted to go back to the gym. I wanted to go back to being fit. I've been lazy for the past, like, three or four years. Two years of COVID. I've done nothing but sit at home, developing bad habits. <laughs> Okay, I used to work the fuck out, man. Check this out. Look at your boy's arms. Oh, I, you were buff. I was buff, man. Look at me here, man. Look at the size of my arms, man. I used to work. Guys, I like I legitimately, I used to spend a lot of time at the gym. I should have mass gainer, protein shakes, and all that shit after working out. But right now at 32, my body, man, you couldn't pay me to go to a gym and just like lift. It feels so aimless now. That's why I wanted to do boxing. Like, I want to learn and develop a skill. And I will work out. Like, you have to lift weights while you're doing boxing. But it has a purpose now. Like, if I'm lifting mm. weights and working my shoulders out, it's to, it's to help with my, like, hook or something. Not just, like, let me just lift weights and get muscles. Every workout that I want to do, I want it to have a purpose aimed towards developing my boxing. So, 
I just want to get in the rhythm. I'm super fucking excited, you know? And uh, like, you, Enta, you're hitting the gym now, like, right? Regular gym. I, that sounds so boring to me. I've done it. I've done it a lot. It again. sounds boring to me, come in. You've, <laughs> seen, you've seen how buff I was. Also, what, what, what got me even more excited is that Noor yesterday, we were, we were messaging on the group chat. She was like, she wants to sign up for boxing lessons as well, folks. She is, I have insp- I've not even started my own <laughs> lessons, and I've inspired Noor to box. Uh, Anna, I think boxing is going to be like a good stepping stool Lele, to start going to the gym. And like, nothing will get me to go to the gym. Yeah. Man, the hell motivation. I think boxing will do that. I think so. And I, I'll say if you, if you stick with boxing, you might not need to go to the gym because this is, mm. it's, it works. It's such a complete, tiring workout. Yeah, it's it's exhausting. Workout. Not only did we uh, inspire new, <laughs> Jonas yesterday drops this story on Instagram. <clears throat> I'm thinking about returning to my 2017 days when I used to kick some asses in the ring. Hashtag Everlast. Look at that. Or boy. Jonas is going back. I'm going I'm to take credit for this, okay? Yeah. I, I promise you, once I started my boxing lessons, people, the percentage of people signing up for boxing lessons <laughs> are going to go up 15 to 20%. And once I drop that training montage in five to six months, Nadim get ready for a lot of uh, evening shoots of me boxing. she discount code or something. I'll try later if, uh, if we can sponsorship. I'll talk to Sherbin. Let, <laughs> let me let me l- let me befriend him first. Let me. And uh, by the way, when I got to the gym, there was a guy there who recognized me. Eli, Eli, shout out, man. He was like in the parking. He's like, hey, Anthony, what are you doing here? I'm like, oh, shit, I'm coming to learn boxing. So it was nice. Like it was so quick too. like you form a very quick camaraderie with everyone. Like I met like three dudes there. I already love them. Eli, Eli, Karim. <laughs> you're there. You're boxing. You're all in the same. Khalas. You're in the same thing together. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm very excited. Okay. Moving on to the next topic. Uh, all right, folks. I really don't want to talk about this anymore because I think it's cost me fans. I've been fighting with my own audience in the comment <laughs> section on the YouTube videos. Um, I feel bad about it. Kind of. But I just want to clarify some things. Talk about the Tate matter. <laughs> and had the comment section. You went down, mom. Ali, haram, hala. We're gonna. I'm gonna. I've screenshotted the comments. Ali, no fan. We're going to have to go through this step by step. I just want to close a few things. Uh, and then never talk about Andrew Tate again because it's, it, has been a, it has been a stressful nightmare. <clears throat> it's stressful because there's way less Andrew no, Tate fans. No, no, there's way less that reached up. So I just get disappointed. Anytime someone that I, I think I like in our, from our audience is like, but bro, I like Andrew Tate. I'm like, oh, no, not you. <laughs> then I dislike them. And I don't want to dislike you people anymore. Let's, let's jump into the comments. Okay, this was a very common sentiment that I got. Uh, and this is a uh, Ali Jabir, Zabir? a viewer, not, not the Ali Jabir. Uh, so he, he left a long comment. He left the first comment at first. Basically like, but Anthony, how do you know that, uh, that, that it's real? I was like, bro, come on. This is one of his replies. Andrew Tate has a lot of bad ideas. But you didn't say they were investigating him. You said he is a sex trafficker and raping women and abusing women. You were talking as if you have evidence and, you, uh, and if, as if the evidence has been proven. Now you're changing your words and saying investigating. You don't want to give Andrew Tate a platform. Bro, I love your podcast and I'm with you on all topics but because you are realistic. But the only one getting platform about Andrew Tate is you who has billions of views. You or him. So who gets clout? You or him. <laughs> he said you were going to laugh, by the way. You're just feeding into the narrative, Elijah. <laughs> this is not an attack and please do not victimize things. Cheers. Halana, you could say I got a little aggressive because my king tears the shit. I'm like, bro, I get really disappointed when I read comments like this. All right, the dude is being investigated, but he also accused multiple times and is on camera admitting to most of the shit he's being accused of. So stop the mental gymnastics to defend a guy who has clearly done some illegal shit and has admitted to it on camera. He literally said a woman's private parts are a man's property. Please, dude, get over the motivational videos. Lol. Then he says, Anthony, the voice that Vice leaked turned out to be fake. Check the videos of Vice when they visited him. In all fairness, first of all, it did not turn out to be fake. No one said it's fake. I tried to Google any article that says that that voice note is fake. It's not. Some streamer called Aiden Ross, an idiot, was on a live stream saying, it sounds like AI to me. Now all these people are like, it's fake, it's fake. Again, it's like debating anti-vaxxers. Mafi, you can't debate them. Shumat illo, it's fake. Shumat illo, it's AI, it's deep fake. Bro, you want me to debate you? Kill <laughs> AI deep fakes? So but even if it's fake, there are millions of people who are not fake. Exactly, exactly, dude. It's haram. Yani, Ali, I'm not going to call you an idiot. But <laughs> like, Anthony, the voice that Vice leaked turned out to be fake. Check out the voice, check out the video of Vice when they visited him. I did watch it. Maybe you didn't. 
In all fairness, he has some bad point of views and has some fans that are very vulgar to say the least. But he is not a human trafficker and doesn't need to do these things financially. Anthony, imagine dating a girl that you may have slept with her and she goes and says you raped her. Wouldn't you like for people to believe you no matter what fake news drops? Most wealthy and famous people get used for such charges. Sean Roden, Logan Paul, and the list goes on. The media can be a bad thing. The best thing is to stay mawdu'ai. Society has taken some things very far with the gender issues and the government controls kids, not the parents anymore. But the dude's going crazy. The dude, I'm sure. yachkan, like, It doesn't sound very mawdu'ai. I'm yachkan himself. what's happening with like maybe trans kids and like maybe Canada, some fringe, very extreme cases. Bro, when are you, Ali? You're in Lebanon and what are you talking about? All this Maher? stuff. Bro, you're, you're an Arab. No one is more oppressed than Arab women. What are you talking about women's rights? I don't know. The new generation is drifting heavily from real life because of the media and its brainwashing. I mean no attack. I just have a point of view that I wanted to discuss with you. The girls who press charges against him have turned out to be framing the whole thing. Again, there is <laughs> muffy evidence that anyone's framing anything. In fact, the girls that are accusing and that accused Andrew Tate are getting doxxed. They're getting insulted. They're getting slut shamed constantly, mm -hmm. which is a technique to, uh, to uh, intimidate them. Yeah. Uh, I understand that some people cannot understand how people can frame such sensitive things, but unfortunately, these things do exist, and some people are faking the victim role. It's not the first time he gets investigated and comes out innocent. No matter what your opinion is, I respect it and will always watch your podcast. To be fair, Ali is being very nice. Mm. He's being very respectful. He's not being a dick at all. If anything, I'm the one who's being an asshole to him. But so no, this wasn't the first comment I read, so خلص, I just got sick of debating people. I'm like, I'm about to go back because... And when you'll see kind of what I mean. I'm like, my guy, you are completely brainwashed. Where are you even getting your information from? Bring me one reputable source that says the voice notes are fake. Not some sketchy YouTube video, but actual reporting. And find me an actual article that says he's being framed. Do you think Romanian authorities are that stupid? Did you not watch the video of him and his brother talking about sleeping with 16-year-olds? It's in the episode. Again, I don't think he... He ignored it. He's on camera saying they want to sleep with 16-year-olds. That, that's not a problem. I mean, what about the video of Andrew Tate discussing how he recruits women using the lover boy method? They ignore it. La, that doesn't exist. The AI, the, the voice note is fake. So I'm not having a good faith debate with these people. Then Ali replies again. He says, calling me brainwashed and asking how old I am uh, is how you have an argument with somebody. Yet you critique people who argue like that. Trying to force such words and turn this argument into something personal is not what I expect of you. Like... Anyway, I will answer your question. Usually when you are human trafficking girls and making them sex slaves, you don't let them out to go order pizza and go pay the delivery guy. I don't need any special media to tell me that. It is common logic, no? Anyway, I was very honest about my opinion, but I see that... Oh, fuck, I didn't... Anyway, I was very honest about my opinion, but I see that no matter how logically I try to debate, there will be no result. You are free to believe in whatever you want and say as much false allegations as you want and tell people who will debate you on this topic that they are brainwashed and ask for their age. If they are adults, then they are lifeless and they are young, then they are immature. I can answer in the same manner, but I choose not to. A person who sees what's right and what's wrong and keeps pursuing wrong allegations can never be debated. So I'm the crazy one who can't be debated. Bro, everything you think is AI. Good luck with your podcast, but from now on, I think there won't be that any trust in your news and comments and resources. Bro, go watch something else. So I said, I'm going to address your comments on the, sh on the show this week. I have no doubt you will, and I have no doubt I will be mocked. Called stupid, not by you, but by Elijah. If not <laughs> by you, then by Elijah. And most probably Noor will shake her head and get disgusted. You talked about these guys who attacked you because they were speaking impolitely. Let's see how will your response be with the person who discussed this topic with you politely. I hope the show will appear a bit later so that you see uh, his assistant <laughs> were set free and he will be set free later. He was, look. Yeah, he, Allah, he knows us so well. He knows us well. He watches the show. Again, look, guys. Uh, I wouldn't call him stupid, but more of ignorant. Uh, ignorant. I think he's. I, I think he's very young. I think he's young. As in my young, opinion, uh, I think he's young. Ooh, look, thank you for watching the show. I'm sorry for getting riled up, man. But uh, no, you, uh, you're pulling the the, the, the brother. The, the definition of brainwashed. You're you're brainwashed. Ooh, like the thing about Andrew Tate, man, is that he goes for young, uh, impressionable. Uh, naive, shway naive people. Definitely, I don't think that someone like Ali believes in the horrible shit that Andrew Tate believes. Like, I'm sure Ali thinks that rape is bad, uh, sexual harassment, uh, sex trafficking, human trafficking, all that sort of thing. But he's just in the camp that thinks Andrew Tate is innocent. And he thinks that the good stuff that Andrew Tate says, like, you need to work out, you need to be motivated, you need to make money, you need to be a high value male, he's willing to overlook a lot because he likes Andrew's message. Someone else, which we got some trouble with uh, over the.
for the past week was Muhammad the, the dietitian. We spot we spoke about him a couple of weeks ago. Muhammad had made the, the video about like that people considered fat shaming. He dropped this video that someone sent me that I watched. <laughs> كلنا عنا ربع ساعة نتمرن وما حدا يقول لي ما عنده وقت يا التمرين منا أولوية يا أنتم ما لكم خلق كلنا عنا ربع ساعة نتمرن فأنتم ما لكم خلق وصحتكم مش أولوية بيسألوني في شي مرة ما قالها خلق تتمرن Every fucking day I don't feel like doing things that I still do It's called discipline So he ends his video with a Andrew Tate clip with the hashtag free the man طيب محمد الدايتشن his approach <laughs> yeah, he's kind of a douche, uh, which we didn't used to think. Yeah, and we used to like him when he used to talk about the, the, the protein cup company. Now we were on Muhammad's side. Uh, he had the whole drama with my wellness coach. Now we're on Muhammad, the dietitian's side. Turns out he also kind of bullies people into working out and stuff. Bess, at the end of his motivational video, there's a clip of Andrew Tate with, that says, Free the man. Do I think that Muhammad, the dietitian, believes... Uh, will defend rape or sexual harassment or sex trafficking? No. Like bad al To be sure, like I don't think who had to tell hashtag. I think like at the video they made TikTok or had to like. I think he added the hashtag. No, I'm pretty sure. Was yeah, that, and if he didn't add it, he can read the hashtag. يعني. If he didn't add it, uh, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. He know he knows enough. يعني. he knows enough. Uh, the, my problem with it is that. Okay, I'm sure he doesn't believe in all the horrible, that sort of shitty stuff. But son, do you need, he has like 116,000 Instagram followers. Do you need to normalize Andrew Tate to your, for your audience like that? And you have, you have female clients, don't you? Like, do you want to use uh, yeah. an accused rapist and an accused sex trafficker as like your motivational guy? Like, Mafi, aren't there other athletes you can look up to? Okay, my wife, actors, Jason Statham. Hugh Jackman is getting in shape now. Hey, to Dwayne get, Johnson. To do the a, most cliche one. Yeah, listen, Hugh Jackman is getting in shape to do a Deadpool versus Wolverine. Okay, Hugh Jackman is like 50, bro, and he gets jacked like a motherfucker. Have you watched Physical 100 on Netflix? Chung Sung Hoon. He's a Korean uh, MMA uh, champion. He's in his 40s. The guy's a fucking badass, bro. Like, and I'm lucky. And I'm because I'm in the arts and I'm, um, I'm into movies. I grew up having very... Like different idols. I looked up to Stan Lee. Stan Lee was one of my idols. Sam Raimi, the movie director, he's one of my idols. Like, hala, you got young directors and writers working in Hollywood that I look up to, like Jordan Peele. I love Jordan Peele and his movies. Uh, like, my body, like. Mission Hacker broke and you don't shower. That's why I'm broken, I don't <laughs> shower. But some, I, I have diff, my body, I've been lucky to like have these cool idols and people that I look up to that are interesting. And, and I reached out to Muhammad the dietitian. We went at it, way in the DMs. Uh, I'm just trying to get what these people like are talking about, bro. Why are they so passionate? I don't get it. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Again, going to the gym, being healthy, making money, changing your life around, being disciplined, all that stuff is good. Just find someone else. Ooh, come in. By the way, this might happen. Andrew Tate might be found not guilty or innocent. Like, but, that, but it doesn't mean that... Let me just finish that. It doesn't mean that he's innocent. Yeah, and you can... If you don't have enough evidence to, to, to convict someone beyond a reasonable doubt, you can't convict them. But that doesn't make them innocent. It just means that there wasn't enough evidence to convict. If Andrew Tate isn't found guilty, they're going to be like, oh, you see, he's innocent. He was framed. That's not at all the case. The, the problem is going to be that there just wasn't enough evidence beyond a reasonable doubt to put him behind bars. And if that happens, you're going to have people celebrating for all the wrong reasons. Best no. He's definitely, he's, he's on camera admitting to all of it. You just don't want to watch it or, or admit to it. Anyways. It's just fucked up the way he speaks. Why would you want to idolize? We're done talking about it. Please don't leave me any comments. Oh, defending Andrew Tate. I have no problem blocking you from the channel. Ali, I don't know if you'll ever watch this podcast again. Maybe watch the Nelk Boys or something like that. But thank you for being respectful, and he was respectful. And I don't believe that Ali believes all the horrible and believes in all the horrible shit that Andrew Tate does. At least I hope he doesn't. And uh, find yourself some other idols, and stop wasting your time defending a guy who does not give a flying fuck about you, and who just wants to make money off of young, desperate men, and he wants to charge him fifty bucks to join Hustlers University. Whew! That was horrible, wasn't it? Yeah. Fucking, we're never talking about Andrew Tate never, again. Never. I'm making you a promise. Never, unless Anjed, we have to. Uh, let's let's uh, cleanse our palates with uh, a new doppelganger. We're gonna have to mute these, I think. I know. There's music. Mahek. Ah, I don't. I can't. So mute. Uh, 
Check it out. Check it out. He he really blonde does. Blonde Anthony. I used to be yeah. blonde. He really does look like me. It's kind of freaky. <clears throat> Yeah, and it, yeah, lad, and like doppelganger. That's what I was thinking today. Like, I thought I used to look relatively <laughs> unique. Not at all, man. Yeah, like, we, how I many? Know. How many of these have we gotten so far? This is my doppelganger. Way number one. too many. Way too many doppelgangers, man. Look at none of There's another one, but he's really like it freaks me out. I got a banana, these. by the way. Ah, well, look. Yeah. Like I see it, but you know, I don't see. It. Like no, he doesn't. I fucking see it, bro. Like he doesn't look like it's just the style, you know. It's the mustache. The mustache and the hair, man. With blonde hair, daif, <coughs> I don't know, bro. I see it. It's disturbing. I don't like it. This needs to stop. Huh. There was him. There was a guy who was dancing with the crazy emos a few months ago. <laughs> this needs to stop. No, it's bad the iconic one, the buff one. The buff one, yeah. The buff <laughs> yeah, one. Uh, the tape bros would like that one for sure. Uh, what a beautiful doppelganger, though. He's a misery, misery head doppelganger. <sighs> Friend of the show, folks. Maya Sufi. Now, this is a funny video. We're not, we love Maya Sufi. We're fans. Uh, you know, friend, she, she defended the, 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 the honor of women against the Sherbel Mouet, the creepy uh, hairdresser. But she did have this Instagram story that I found funny. Just funny. Please don't get mad, Maya. I hope she doesn't see this. Please don't send this to her. She scares me, kind of. Uh, uh, but I just found this funny. Here, let's, let's check this out. Yes, yes, yes. Smash. Okay, so when you see, like, on first, uh, it doesn't seem offensive. She's like, she'll pass white boys, you know, no white boys, no brown boys, no Mexicans. <laughs> then she'll smash Arabs. Did you notice something, though? Like, she was very specific about Mexicans. Like, white boys, she lumped everyone up. All the whiteies, all the Caucasians, whether you're American, you're from Ukraine, Russia, you're white. Chala, she's not interested. White boys, no. Pass, pass. Yes. Then Mexicans, like she went for like a race, like a country. Mexicans. She didn't say Latin Americans. She didn't say Hispanic people, Spanish people. Straight up Mexicans. No. Yes. After it, she got brown boys, which she's fine with. She's fine with the brown boys. Okay, brown boys. You can get Pakistani. You can get a lot of. You can lump a lot of people in with the brown Indians. Brown boys. And then she'll. She's in for Arabs. So best, I don't know. Did, did you guys find it weird that she does she hate Mexicans in, in particular? Not not her cup of tea. The, me <laughs> ma ma the Mexicans. Fia mat habbo Is I don't. It's so funny. Like, what do you think? Sure, <laughs> like. No, I think it was a bit specific. And no, I'm, I think it's kind of like a ten percent racist. It's likes. probably a meme. Like, she's, it's a format. She didn't like. It. Like, yeah, but uh, knowing the, the like the beef between the U.S. and the Mexicans, who he is in the Mexicans yeah. pass. No, they didn't mention Asians. No Asian Americans. They're not mentioned at all. <laughs> She didn't mention black people actually either. But that's the weird part. And you know, either include them all, or don't. Fahi, you know, hot, white, brown, Mexican. Fahi, sound hexa, but I know fear two passes. Hmm. Yeah, this is actually like. She's admitted black people and Asians. What does she feel about them? Maybe. My black people, my fear two pass. With being racist, so Mexicans. So me it's fine to be. You see, like you can shit on Mexicans. Yeah, fuck the Mexicans. Can't say nothing about black people. I just found it interesting, Maya. Uh, no offense. Oh. Keep going. Keep going, please. You know, we, we're fans. We're just, just questions. We're asking questions. We're just asking the, <laughs> the important questions here. Uh, Shada, folks. I know I've said I don't want to talk about Shada anymore, but we're, we're stopping Andrew Tate. We're stopping Dr. Food and Shrew. We need to bring something back. So Shada's back for now, for now, just because he's being creepy with a little girl. Shada and Shrew like about minors. What are, what's going on no, here, Shada? That is, um, I have no idea about Hello. this. He has a family, like I said at the beginning, folks. Joseph Shada now has a wife and kid. He's been doing, for some reason, Shada promoting restaurants. I don't know why he's ended up there or why he's only promoting restaurants exclusively. But this is very interesting and it's an unexpected turn of events. So here's his first video. He's been promoting a restaurant called Kako Donor. كتير. فلقنا فيه لكاكو دونر ما كان فينا نقضيها اليوم بصحن مجدرة جايبتينا لهون لك يا حياتي ما صدقت كاكو دونر يعمل عرض خلص ضروري تجيبينا مرة تانية ما تحكي لك قدام البنت يا بابا خلص انت كثير بخيل انا بخيل حتى البنت عم تحكي هيك عرفتنا قدام العالم خلص بقى كلي كلي خلينا ناكل شيء كلي يا حبيبتي كلي ماما هيدي شو بقلبك؟ شو شو هيدا؟ قصة شو محشية؟ شو بقلبك؟ عجبك بنتك ما بتعرف اللحمة والدجاج؟ والله جرسك جرسك طول عمري هن اكلوا هلا عملتي لي ما لكن نشرتك ياسر نايلون على البلكون ماي واتشينج First of all, just disclaimer, the little girl is adorable. Nothing we're going to say here has anything. She's a very talented young actress. What adorable. is this weird ad? Shada, I'm going to sketch it. Mr. Bakhil. Mr. Bakhil. Mr. Bakhil from AliExpress. Al-Ad. 
It's like, <laughs> uh, Kako Donor, bro, he's uh, yeah, all these sketches. Hala, this lady is his wife. Uh, this is his young daughter. Uh, Ukako Donor has a special zoo. You do that. His whole page, sorry, I don't even think they're paying him, bro. But they are doing theater. I don't even think they're paying him, bro. But they are doing theater. I don't even think they're paying him, the Bakhil character, like who, you know what I mean? Deja, you don't have a great reputation, Shada. Like, Leba, like, see the Bakhil. Always being the funny character. Okay, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, no. Lake, he's a decent it's actor. Like, it's trash, Adam. Does that? It's like bad acting. No, no, Lake, he's always been a talented actor. He's, yeah, he's doing the cheesy, like, MTV sketch in the Tessayne. That's the vibe he's going for. But that's like, for, for what he's doing, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to and I've seen him take a class ma <laughs> Yeah, what an experience. No, saw that too. What we've an experience. We've seen him act. Yeah, I'll say a lot of things about Chad, but it's a fine actor he is. Subjective. <laughs> sit back down, Shada. <laughs> hey, another video. This was really weird. Honey Shada, what you did, yeah, that look you gave. V look. Back from the USA. I'm hungry. What shall we eat? Well, there's this restaurant, Biamul Akel Irani, a small cackle donor, but it's called Wow, I'm so excited to try this. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Do you think he writes these? He writes the, the sketches? Uh, I think. Uh, pass how did, the Shada brain. Dude, how did this little girl end up messing with Joseph Shada? <laughs> how did she end up there? Like, that's so weird. She must, maybe she's the lady's daughter, but she's again very sweet, very talented young lady. <laughs> I'm just concerned for her. <laughs> maybe. Say, ah. Uh, uh, gets creepy. <laughs> Okay, right here. What the fuck, bro? Shada, hey, Dashu. And you can't have a little girl. This is going to be so fucked up to even say. But why do you have this little girl calling you daddy? It does not work, Shada, with you. Shada being Shada. And with that face, zoom in on that, Elijah, as I'm talking. With that face, Mafi, G bint Zghire, like daddy, Shada. I feel fucked up saying that sentence. I feel like it should be on the dark web somewhere. Hey, the you cannot do that. Look at that face, bro. Hey, the America's most wanted. <laughs> this is this is this is a predator. This is to catch a predator, bro. Hey, <laughs> that Irani, but Zafaran. Here, Tayyip. What is Zafaran? Oh my God, her comedy sure. is brala. <laughs> this is trash. Shada, look at me, Nahone. Sorry. Sure, let me excite content. Shada, kill my kill, Jamal. Are you where am I sahat bad anta? If you go to Shada's profile, kilo fi mahal tane biyami sandwichet, kame na hamelo shit nashab daay sair. Again, at least Shada hada nabi tami. I'm glad Shada's getting these sandwiches. Hada nabi gadi yani bi talo gada washa. I doubt they're paying him. I wonder what the budget this the bakako donor for marketing yani. Yaani anur alain. No, is it Habibi anu? Speaking of Habibi anur alain, folks, it's time to take a quick word from our returning sponsor, 16 millimeter bar in Jemez, our favorite bar, our favorite place to get delicious libations and cold alcoholic beverages, okay? They are open, folks. Let me announce they're in brand new opening hours from 10 a.m. until 1 a.m. And you can now get a free dessert. Their offer has been extended, their generous offer. So if you go to 16 millimeter between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. and order two coffees, just tell your waiter, do not worry, and you will get a free dessert. Your choice between a homemade brownie, a homemade cookie, or a baked apple puff. So you heard that right. Order two coffees, tell your waiter, do not worry, and you will get a free dessert, folks. You can get delicious brunch, delicious lunch. They got all sorts of puff pastries, delicious salads, avocado toast, all sorts of delicious things, hot chocolate. Coffees, you had the coffee you liked, you really liked it. You loved it. I loved the it coffee. It was the greatest <laughs> coffee you've ever had. I had a delicious hot chocolate. I love hot, I don't drink coffee. I'm a, I'm a hot chocolate man. It was delicious. I tried the turkey and cheese puff pastry. It was delicious. And starting at 5 p.m., it turns back into the bar that you know and love. You can get all your signature cocktails. My favorite is the May Parker. What is your favorite drink at 16 millimeter new? Um... Yes, it's not a signature drink. It doesn't have to be. What, 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 what do you drink? I don't know, my drink is Roman Coke. 
<laughs> You're too young. You, once you get older, you'll start ordering better drinks rather than Red Bull, uh, vodka, Red Bull, come <laughs> No, I don't like vodka. And I'll find out soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need, we're, we're, we'll take you very soon. We're going to go. Folks, but Senia, my family should be my drink. Rum and Coke? And yeah. خلاص, once you reach a certain age, you stop drinking like you know, Jack and Coke. Wait, says. The menu also includes granola bowls, a sweet feta sandwich, uh, again, the brownies, the cookies, the baked apple puffs, cappuccinos. Uh, folks, it is a movie lover's bar if you love movies. There's a projector constantly showing amazing movies in the background. Amazing drinks, really nice ambiance. Hadi is really cool, the owner. He's a friend of the show. He's a fan of the show. So if you like the show, if you like this ambiance, you're going to love being at 16 millimeter. You're going to feel right at home. Uh, it's for movie lovers. It's for geeks. It's for artists. It's for just regular people. It's you wanna, for you. It's for you. That's beautiful. You want to just go do some work in the morning, get a coffee. You want to go grab some drinks with your friends. They have happy hour from 6 to 8 p.m. They're pet friendly. They're open every day of the week except for Sundays. Hit them up. We love them. Thank you for being our partners, 60 millimeter for like the, these two months. We've loved working with you. We've loved being your partners. God bless. Hit them up. Tell them we sent you and get that free dessert. Dr. Food and Shrew join Twitter. As we promised you guys, we're not going to talk about them anymore. I'm sick of them. And ever since they threatened to sue fans, I don't give them any more attention. Unless they recently joined Twitter. We think it's them. Noor told me that it might be actually a fake account, that it might not be them. Either way, and I'm doing my due diligence, getting my hat to tweet. I'm literally promoting the podcast. Like right here, I'm like, watch my podcast where we react to Shrew and Dr. Food threatening to sue fans. Literally as a reply, any chance I get, I'm either promoting the podcast or putting a, <laughs> a fucked up clip of Dr. Clip or, or, or Shrew or Dr. Food. Dr. Clip. <laughs> Dr. Clip. Khalas <laughs> Hafan. <laughs> Anyways, we're not talking about Dr. Food anymore. Bye-bye. Uh, bye-bye. What else we got this week? We got a lot of... Inter- oh, the pro... The- Let's do it. Let's jump in. Let's Pronouns, folks. They, them. That's going to be fun. First, before we get into that, uh, there's a person I follow on Twitter. Her name is Rida Arnaut, uh, known as Monkey See, Monkey Do. I used to follow her on Instagram. Until I unfollowed her on both Instagram and Twitter <laughs> because she has horrible takes, folks. She might be a nice person. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I have my reasons to believe uh, the opposite. Anyways, here is a tweet that she put out last week that she now deleted, granted, to be fair. I'm confused. Instagram bans women's nipples, but when it's a they, them, it's okay. Instagram, please explain. And she has a photo of Sam Smith wearing... It's not even his own boobs. It's like a shirt with boobs printed on it. Either way. So oh, she's so offensive calling sa- it. Hey, she says when it's a they, them. Anyways, she puts out that tweet. Obviously, she gets a lot of quote tweets. People are, are, are accusing her of shit. When they're saying that she's being mean and stuff. Let, just check out this exchange right here. So Perla replies and says, not defending, but those are women's nipples. These are trendy dresses recently. Bija Leon, resim of the body. It's not see-through dress, etc. So Rida replies, said, no, it's his tits. I went through the rabbit hole of his Instagram. Perla then responds, Akide, then I'm pretty sure the nips and belly button are drawn on the dress, which They're she's drawn. right. They're, they are drawn, they are drawn. Never seen someone with such a high belly button. Also, Amud the Hakif was low bel QTs. Rida then replies, she says, you're right. The belly button is high, but anyway, he has more pics with nipples. Sorry, they. With uh. the- with a, with a smiley so, face. So clearly she means it in an insulting way. Ooh, they, ooh, she's being dismissive. Hello, again, I'm not, I'm not in love with the pronouns they, them, but so we're going to get to that. Uh, oh my God. Anyways, here, here's a... <laughs> I keep hitting the mic. <laughs> oh, so, uh, when someone else replied, they go by Newt X1234. I'm not sure whether your point is an argument for female body liberation or against queer gender expression. Rida replies, for sure, it's for female body liberation. <laughs> for sure. Why the double <laughs> standards? Female, <laughs> are, yeah, females are still getting suppressed. And then you go back to yeah, that other reply where she says, sorry, they. they. So it's obviously not about women's rights who free the nipple of my body shoe. Good try, though. Clever, clever try, Rida. Uh, anyways, I quote tweeted her. Hala she deleted, but this was my tweet. I'm like, this person constantly has shit takes, and some of the replies are also pretty gross. She's trying to pretend she wants to liberate the female nipple, but she's clearly grossed out by Sam Smith, who, granted, dresses like shit, but how is that hurting or affecting you? This opens up the debate that we're going to have now about... I don't think they dress like shit. Uh, I think they do. But do they? They? <laughs> they, uh, they. Hey, so... I don't want to focus too much on Rida. She deleted her tweet, so let's be fair. She probably not because she disagrees with what she said, or she learned that what she said is fucked up. Just because she probably doesn't want to deal with the headache anymore. Delete the account. Uh, she should. She should delete her account. No, <laughs> she should. So, so a lot of bad takes. So, 
Then a couple days later, Elijah will be watching that video on um, <laughs> on our WhatsApp group of uh, Jeffrey Star, who Jeffrey Star uh, is a he. He he. he Aye, he's yes. a guy, just he, like. Uh, he identifies as he. So here is what Jeffrey Star had to say about they them. So we're gonna use we're gonna use Reda's tweet and now this video to open the topic to the pronoun debate that we constantly see online, people fighting about. So here's okay, what I'll Jeffrey choose. has to say. I'm not into all the other bullshit. I think. What other bullshit? The they and them. Yeah. And all that extra shit that we added during the pandemic because everyone mm. was so bored on their fucking houses. They just started to make up more shit and more, more shit. stuff. More stuff. Yeah. That's where the conservatives like me because I'm just real. Yeah, you There's do no, have a conservative you're not vibe to you. Them. You're trans, you're male or you're female. And you're standing and on that. Get so mad when I say that. How are you with they? What the fuck does that mean? It's stupid is what it is. Yeah. But you need someone like me that looks like me to say it. Because if you say it, it turns into you're homophobic. You hate trans people. You hate gays. And it's just how you feel. You don't hate anyone. You just think it's stupid. Uh, first, let me just as a disclaimer. I don't like Jeffree Star. I think he's very problematic. He's been mm. in some fucked up he shit is. in the past. So he's like, he's no reference. I, I, I know the fact that he dresses and looks the way he does. Gives some people like an out. Like, you see, he said it. So fuck it. I'm going to say it too. Let's keep in mind that he's kind of an asshole. And I have my issues with Jeffree Star. Anyways, that's not the, the issue. <laughs> he mentions they, them, where it's stupid, and I'm, I'm allowed to say it. Let me just talk about this. Thing. What do you guys think about pronouns? We're going to talk about they, them pronouns. What do we think? Binary, not all that stuff. Let's have the fun discussion that people love to have. So who wants to start? Do you want me to fall on the grenade first? Do you want me to start? And Shoot I don't mind this shit controversial. I don't mind yeah, this shit controversial. Here's what I'm going to say. It's not okay? controversial. Here's yeah. my opinion, first of all. Yeah. The they, them, pronouns debate, all of that stuff, I think kind of annoys me because it is all exclusively online. I see people, mainly my age, I'll admit it. I think it's mostly millennials, Gen X, Akbar, that complain about, few Gen Zs that complain about this. Like, but it's mostly millennials. Look at these Zoomers and their pronouns and stuff. It's got, kind of cringe, but I mean, it's super cringe because I want to ask you, I'm looking at you right now, you watching the show. How many non-binary people do you actually know and do you interact with on a daily basis? I'm going to guess that it's maybe zero, okay? I'm 32 years old. Do you know how many friends that I have who identify as they, them? Zero. Not because I avoid these people. It's just because there's, there's not that many of them. Uh, so I don't know why people are so mad about something that... That's so niche. That, that is so niche and that honestly barely affects you. I've never, had, I, I've never had a single person walk up to me and be like, hey, by the way, my pronouns are they, them. Please call me they, them. So... Why is it that that's never, yeah, isn't it weird if that never happens to you, but when you get on Twitter, you're like, oh my God, all these they, thems, I can't live my life anymore because we can't say anything. It's like, who asked you to call them they, them? It's never happened to me. If you have like eight or seven people who've asked you that, chances are you're probably super okay with that. Yeah, and my body, that, that, that is just what I find weird. I think it is, and it's what ends up happening. You see these extreme cases of like this one person with blue hair in the States who like, is trans and who wants to identify as like a tree or my body. It's like this super extreme case. And people assume that it like happens all the time, bro. Like there's one out of every 100,000 or something is like trans. It's like, and at the end of the day, if someone does walk up to me, he's like, hey, could you please refer to me as they, them? Hey, bro, what am I going to tell them? No, no, you're a guy. <laughs> Don't you have confusing. a dick? I'm going to call you a he, piece of shit. <laughs> I'm going to be polite. I'm going to be like, sure, sure. They, them. And I'm the kind of guy, if someone like gets my name wrong, like, hey, what's your name? Anthony. Andy, nice to meet you. Fuck it. I'm Andy for the next <laughs> hour, bro. I'm not going to correct them. La aide. I'm, the, I'm super non-confrontational. <laughs> Khalas, my name is Andy for the next hour and a half. I don't care. So you think, Anna, I'm going to go correct some guy like, no, I'm not going to call you they. That's fucking weird, bro. I'm <laughs> like, all right, they. If the person's a dick, he's like, but, eh. I'm not a he, I'm a they, then fuck you. You're a fucking dick, whether you're he, she, they, whatever. You're just an asshole that I don't want to be around. Like, you can't put pressure on people who, you fucked it up, you, you disrespecting me. No, bro, just we're used to saying he, she, because they is plural. Yes, they can be used from time to time. In English, you can say, but in French, you say vous uh, when you're being uh, super a stranger. formal. You're being formal and it's a stranger. You can say vous or you're, instead of tu. But so in French, ma fille, they, them. I was looking, today, I was thinking about it, I'm like, what, 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 the, what do French people do? Ma fille, they, them pronouns in France. I literally looked it up. I Googled it. Tada, there's a solution. They're trying to come up with a new like pronoun because they don't have it here. Literally. France doesn't have a pronoun for they in the third person plural. 
People must choose between the masculine, il, or feminine, elle. But as calls for non-gender specific pronouns have increased, there were calls for a new non-binary pronoun, and people started using il, which is a mixture of il and elle. Oh, yeah, I've heard that. But this just goes to show you that this is like, it's a constructed problem that people, and people in France don't even have the choice, the option of going by they and them, so it's not really... هي بحس فاجعة راس بلبنان بالعربي لأنه كل شيء like separated by بس كم they them في بلبنان and if there are people who identify as they them they're so fucking scared to come out because of fucking freaks that they'll never admit it you know what I mean correct أنا جد it doesn't hurt anyone bro like sure is it slightly inconvenient is it weird the they them sure a little I don't know that's like do I care am I gonna go on Twitter and make a post like yeah you can't say anything anymore and all these they them's and these These non-binaries and these trans people are coming after me. It's like, bro, come, I don't know. I haven't met a single they in my life. So why would I complain about it online? Do I agree with Jeffree Star? And did it go too far? Eki, the hey that identifies as a cat, the hey that as a tree. That's weird. But again, these are, like, these are such extreme cases. But social media blows them up. And it makes you think that it's everywhere when it's really not. And people are getting mad for nothing. That is my crazy hot take on the situation. My take. Open to you. I have an issue with Xano pronouns. Well, shit like that goes yeah. too far. Yani, I identify as. Uh, What's, a die, Zeno? What's a Zeno pronoun? When you make up, yani, die them, for example. Or, uh, if pie or uh, like The weirdest shit you could ever hear. They write like your entire like grammar. Yeah, and hmm. and how, how is this offensive? How is it offensive? I refer to it's them. So, yeah, as that's them. stupid. That's and annoying. Like, hey, should we, like, bro, how are we gonna know? I'm gonna have a fucking list. Exactly. One well, other thing you pointed out, which I agree with, and if somebody like told you, you know, I'm non-binary, I they them or she, if you like mistake it, to know they're the type. Again, they're not all like this. But as I told you, had a man on the type, yeah, they get offended or she, and I rebash at the rest, man. I'm struggling as well, yeah, yeah. yeah. To get bro, this, most of them, I'm our sure, brains have been wired you know, with he, she, you know, bro, you know. I'm sure 99% of them wouldn't get offended. I'm sure 99% of them are even are even ashamed to be like, hey, could you mind like? Referring to me as they, them, it's probably already hard for them. And look, if it's important for them, enough for them to come up to you and tell you, hey, can you please call me they, them? That means it means something to them. So, Do you want to be an asshole and be like, oh, fuck you, bro. You got a dick. You're a he. Like, just fucking be nice, That's man. It's just annoying. Guys. True, true. Just be nice, man. Be considerate, okay? Don't be like, oh, so he, I mean, sorry, uh, they. Don't be a fucking... And I used to be kind of a douche about it, like, on Twitter, like, three years ago. At one point, I had, like, a couple tweets. I had, like, a phase for, like, a month where I'm like, oh, So no, no, I had a tweet. I remember it was like, if Twitter forced me to put my pronouns, would I stay on Twitter or would I leave? I was like, I'll leave Twitter if they force me. I probably still think that, to be fair, because I think, not leave it, but no, I don't, for example, I don't think everyone should identify on like Instagram, he, him. Again, you're, it's just to accommodate such a small percentage of the population. Yeah, and we don't need to, people are freaking out and overthinking it, I think. You know what I mean? Just be polite, be, I think it's common human decency. If someone's like, hey, It doesn't even have to be, like, think about this, for example. Imagine you know someone that was, who recently got into a, whose family died in a car crash. If they, if you meet up with them at a dinner, they're like, hey, just, or someone tells you, please don't mention the car crash around them. It makes them uncomfortable or it's, it's going to get them emotional. It's kind of similar, like, hey, bro, just don't call this person a he. They're struggling with, oh, by the way, I totally believe, oh, if we're talking about, do we believe in non-binary? I totally believe in men. I, I believe in people that can, that don't want to identify as a guy, as a girl. I don't understand all the, 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 the psychology behind it and the biology, but I believe it. I believe that people are born in a man's body that feel like shit. I feel like I should have been born a woman. I, can, I, I, I think, and I, I fully support trans people, all of that. Tell the debate. Should you give hormone blockers to like 11-year-old kids? I really don't know. I, I don't understand about that. I know people... Mm. That's why if you're a trans therapist for this... Uh, trans binary. <laughs> It, it, it is, it is. Listen, all the, and I support, I just want people to be happy. As long as whatever their choices are, man, how, how does it affect you if Sam Smith wants to wear an ugly ass fucking dress totally. and, and go as they, them? Who gives a fuck? Eh, and what kind of effort I'm going to put on this, they, them, they say, no, I don't want to do it. أصلاً شوفي على فكرة هبل هلا لك في اليو كي سام سميث was spotted in public. عالم بقى وطوع عم بصار خلو بادوفاي. شو؟ Bro, I'll give you an example of someone who was allowed to maybe be annoyed by this. I have a friend of mine, Elias, who lives in who lived in San Francisco. He's one of my best friends, one of my best college friends in the States. Okay. He works at YouTube, surprise, weirdly enough. Nice. Uh, so we got we have backup at YouTube side of sure. We have sure. help. We have help. So he lived in San Francisco. San Francisco uh, has a huge gay population. Uh, he twice. It's happened to him twice. He walked into a bar to see his friends. He said, Hey guys, the first time he says, Hey guys, someone at the bar was like, Why are you saying hey guys? 
He didn't really know how to react. He's like, oh shit, sorry, my bad. Like, I didn't mean it that way. Come on. Which is weird. To me, that is weird. Should we all hey sense. people? Sure. Why'd you say hey guys? Not everyone here identifies as a guy. Oh. Why would you say hey guys? Because I say hey guys to my female friends. I know, I know. Yeah. It happened to him a second time. His response the second time was fucking hilarious. And he deserves a medal for what he said. Bijabi Fut at a place like, hey guys, someone literally turns around like, why are you saying hey guys? He just turned and looked at him. He was like, I'm literally just saying hi to the men. I'm only saying hi to the men. <laughs> it just kept on going. Like, that person is an asshole. Yeah. That person is an asshole in that case. You know what I mean? So, yeah, a few cases where it gets overdone. Uh, I know, really, that's my thing, man. As long as it doesn't harm you, man, just fuck it. Who gives a fuck? You want me to call you they? It'll make you happy. Is it better to call me Xenom from the planet Blorb? I'm going to be like, fuck you, bro. Are you high? That's what <laughs> I'm going to say to that person. But if it's someone like, look, I don't identify as a hey, though, as a man or as a woman. Again, never happened to me. I don't have any friends that identify. Don't think of Anthony's uh, like I'm avoiding people who identify <laughs> as they them. But so. no, I think people your age are more fearful non-binary. Yeah, or they're too scared to come out. I, know, I, know. I have a few friends uh, who go by they them. Is I it know, hard I'm for you to, to say they them? No, but like I'm completely used to it. And odd. Yeah. Another way I do it, like I have a friend who's d- like they them keep mm. <laughs> band, like a band. You would call you know, this band <laughs> they are cool. Ah, okay. <laughs> the name is like a band's name, so I'm like they, you know. It like, and I'll definitely make a mistake. I'll definitely. It happens. You. Of oh. course, of course, man, it's gonna happen. But you know, as long as you don't have any ill will towards them. You know I know what I, mean? what I don't understand. I'm not being offensive, or she was. I'd like someone to explain as a, one of the viewers is non-binary, like gender fluid people usually don't mind any pronoun like if you call them she he they don't mind it because they don't identify as any specific one they're just gender fluid what's the difference and as a, you're non-binary you know i think you shouldn't mind being called a she and you shouldn't mind being called a he oh like, i don't understand i'm not even going to pretend to understand i don't there's so much uh, pansexual versus uh, compared to another like there's so many different varieties i don't I know man because gender fluid they don't mind uh any i know they feel all the genders And for example, they don't mind any. They feel and uh, they have all the genders in them somehow. <laughs> Not, Non-binary, they don't feel well one of them. But they're dressing as both. No, no, I non-binary clothing. I know, I know, very basic. I but non-binary like clothing mixes both genders. No, it's Bada. very basic. It's very plain and it's basic. Get cut. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, and you mentioned if we have not if we have non-binary viewers, I would love to know like what is yeah, our audience? What does our audience look like? I know we lost a lot of Tate fans, and I know that our, our audience is 75% male, 25% riddance, female. Honestly. I know we're losing a lot of Tate fans. I wouldn't mind raising our female uh, viewer uh, yeah, huh? ratio versus the guys. Uh, So I think they're going to be upset about this. Yani, you, you like they, them? I like anything. I'm just, I'm fine with it. Just let people be happy, man. Anjad, let people be. Khalas. Khalas. Anjad, shukhaskun. Now, but speaking of letting people be, let's make fun of someone who writes poems on Instagram. <laughs> hey. Mas haram, zai, last time. We're not going to make fun. We're not going to make fun. We, I wasn't, look, someone sent me this on Instagram. I can't remember who. And I was like, I told him, like, dude, I don't want to. Yeah, so full disclosure, last time, uh, after we spoke about him the first time, Actually, his father passed away like a week or two after, and I felt really shitty. I felt really bad. I sent him a message. I, like, I, I, I offered my condolences. I apologized. He was very nice. He was very gracious. Uh, we buried the hatchet, and uh, we have not commented on Oh My Happiness's uh, poems ever since. Someone sent me this. I was like, should I? Shouldn't I? But then I read it. I was like, okay, look, it's full of cliches, so we are going to read it. Best with love. Yeah, no. We mean no, no harm or no hatred. We never do anyways. So... Here is the Valentine's Day poem. On Valentine's Day, you can love your ex-boyfriend, your girlfriend's brother, your wife's best friend. Here we go. You can love Hamra, Fairuz's newer songs, Lubia Bizit, Middle East Airlines, Bernard Khoury's architecture. You can love Fouré Noir or, or even Fouré Blanche, whatever that is. You can love living in 04 or 09, the Hariri Mosque or whatever it's called, the Kola Roundabout, ABC Anteliers, the Croissant Knefe, the Corniche El Mazra Ramadan decorations, the giant Marie statue in Cécine. Hell, you can even love Adil Karam, Bank Audi, MTV, Malik Maktabi, and the wrong Sahyun Falafel. I'm fine with all that. I can accept it. But please don't love Gibran Basile. I draw the line at loving Gibran Basile. 
I think what's cringier than everything else is like I draw the line of Jibran Basil. Like there are so many people mm-hmm. who are worse than Jibran Basil. I think this is what happened coming to Lebanon about the Thawra. Everyone, for some reason, focused on Al Auni or on Jibran Basil. Like sure they're bad, but like bro, there are way worse uh, people. Personally, I think that they're so much worse. There are way worse people. People that are, that were around before Jibran Basil was even born. <laughs> so it's like, and let's like we're not even talking about all the other like Mahala cliche. ملوخية يمكن ما حكي عنا. Very oddly specific. والألمازة ما حكي عنا. بس every other Lebanese cliche is in there. Sorry guys, أنا بعدنا عم نسعول. صح صح. What do you guys think? Any any comments على؟ إنه ما راح أقول شيء رود. I'm just gonna say it's not my type of content. Like oh yeah, I don't get it. You don't have. Already established. Our audience knows that. Yeah, we've established. He knows that. For new viewers. There you go. He knows uh, his content is not our style. You don't need to explain yourself <laughs> to him. He knows. He is well aware. Anyways, oh my happiness. I hope you had a great Valentine's Day. Uh, okay, he, I like this one actually. Self-defense, folks. We were talking about boxing earlier. You know, your boy is gonna, your boy is gonna be boxing. You're gonna become a, a boxing champion with Nu as well. Is gonna be. She's gonna become a boxing champion. We're gonna go on these rocky runs together. <laughs> Uh, but you got to know how to defend yourself, folks. Not everyone has time to go to a, a, a class, a self-defense class, anything. But luckily, most of us wear belts. And you can now use your belt to get rid of a knife. Check this out. And I saw the tweet, actually, the tweet that I found this video on said, lit- you will literally die if you try this. That was the tweet. <laughs> so this is fucking hilarious. Yo, give me your money. Stay back, man. Stay back. Yo, is that a knife, bro? Stay back, man. What? Say I fucking hate you. Do you know how to use your belt for self-defense? First thing okay, first, we're gonna go back to the beginning. Okay, so. Yo, give me your money. Stay back, man. Stay back. Yo, is that a knife? Stay back, man. Stay back. Yo, is that a knife? Bro, say I like. Stay back. Stay back. Yo, yo, is that a knife, bro? Is that a knife? You got a knife? I mean, fuck that dude. Bro, can Raka check Kofia? She's like 10 more than Oh, oh, can check. Oh, he's like, is he trying to fuck me? Like, why are you? Now I'm a fuck this sad dude. Whoa, whoa, bro. Is that is that a knife? One second. Is that a knife? So say out that fuck that dude. Then it's like, you know, what? Why are you taking your pants off? Should I tell me, bro? Like, is that a fucking knife? So then. Do you know how to use your belt for self-defense? No, you shouldn't. Like it probably works because it creeps out the other guy and should do it. We're gonna finish the lesson. Do this, you gotta practice at home. Take a belt, tie a knot in the end of it, learn how to swing some figure eights. Down on an figure eights. Bro, you're gonna be dead <laughs> ten times over. Tie a knot? Stay safe, train smart. Send you send. Send you send. Whoa, 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 bro. Is that a knife? You got a knife? Here want one more time? I really love it, man. It is insane. Yo, give me your money. Stay back, man. Stay back. Yo, is that a knife? Stay back, bro. Whoa, is that a knife, bro? <laughs> 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 you know how to use your belt for st- <coughs> Look, I'm obviously the guy can kick my ass. I'm not gonna make fun of him. Best, this inspired me to find a couple. There's a couple others that I remember. There's this guy called Detroit Dust. He's like this cop with the security. He's Kitir Maruf. He's got like two million TikTok followers. Okay, only how to get rid of a gun if you're sitting in a car. Detroit Urban Survival Training. We're gonna share with you what to do if someone abducts you and they're sitting in the back seat with a weapon wow, to the side so of your skull. Cool. What? The way that works. Number one, we move in, grab the barrel and frame, redirect. The finger is gonna be caught from the aggressor, and now you have the weapon. Yeah, these are all parodies. You know, they're all. I couldn't find the original one anymore. <laughs> so. That's totally not gonna fucking work, bro. This this one's even worse. Look at this one. Hey, I'm like, what? He's going to shoot if I move. Bro, what? The fuck was this? Watch it again. Like, eh, shoot, what the? He's going to shoot if I move. <laughs> yeah, this guy's dead. You're in heaven. There's one more. This hey, the hey, the seat. Did you guys see this one? Oh, I've seen this. The seat I belt. Saw, yeah. <laughs> Look at this fucking thing. You need. In three, two, one, go. You need a master's degree to remember what to do. Fingers in. Okay, seat belt comes off. There we go. Loop in. Okay, now with my other hand, I'm gonna kick the seat back and I'm gonna open the seat. I'm gonna open the door. Okay, three, two, one. All the way down, I'm out, and I can... Let me, I ain't got a word. Let's keep it, keep it. <laughs> hey, this one's funny. <laughs> no, you got the two fingers. You got the two fingers. Just trying to get the... Look, the chair's not going back. She did. <laughs> she died. So, yeah. 
<laughs> Self-defense, these things are great. But remember, the belt one, by the thing's my favorite. Whoa, bro, is that a knife, bro? Bro, is that a knife? God bless this man. And self-defense. Shwan, what else? This is a this episode is a bit uh, haphazard, folks. Do you any new Tiki's items? Tiki's items? Takis, Takis. Takis items. Where? How did I know? How did I know? What is the segue? How did the segue? I even got it wrong. I even said it wrong. You skipped the topic, but yalla. Because you because you tried. Exotic cultures, there it is. Who on it? So exotic cultures, it's this account. I guess it's the store they sell these products, uh, imported snacks from Abadif Shu, still a la Darwish. Uh, but they're, they're selling, they're doing this weird shit with these pickles. Just check it out. Here's the ta- let's start with the Takis pickle. Hey, hey, De La Noor. Shuf. You all have been waiting for this. Let's try the hot no pickle. No one was waiting for this. exotic cultures way. Behind the video, we're going to try the spicy edition. In the video, the sour edition. هيكم عم نشوفها بس نشفناها كثير طالع ما ما بعرف كيف وهلا عم نلفها بالفروت رول اب وهون المفاجاه سبايسي كوريان تايمز 2 صوص يلا بقلبها بقلبها اكيد ما بتكمل بلا خيك البلو تاكيز ما حسس حره يلا نزد لها بعض لا منا حره خلينا نحط لها هسه تاكيز باودر تاكيز باودر منظر مرعب صراحه كمان بلو تاكيز مكسر اوف ليكو منظره هات صوص مره ثانيه وكمان تاكيز باودر ما بعرف شو حيصير فيني يلا نجربها قد ما انا حره ما قدرت اكمل الفيديو بس طيب كثير صراحه باي باي ان اور بوي ثرو اب راح يستفر فجاه تكسرت تولت كمان في اكثر من هي ذس از ذا ساور وند ري تاكت اباوت من بعده ستيب 1 كم اي اس ام ار بلانت غامي اند اي غامي اتس ناستي برو ذا فاك از هي ايتينج And I hate sour stuff, and I can't stand sour candy. No, no, but the Bahrain is sour candy. This is disgusting. And it's a pickle, bro. What the fuck is he eating? Valid. And God bless you, bro. God, I'll let a week for the luck. It's disgusting. Shukin an nabad. Time to talk about Madonna. <laughs> Madonna's plastic surgery, folks. And I don't really care about Madonna. When the Grammys happened like a couple of weeks ago, her. F- Plastic surgery face went viral. I'm like, who cares? I'm like, who cares? But I know Elijah's a fan of Madonna. So this week I saw another picture of her a tweet. And look at my face now. The swelling has gone down. I'm like, خلاص. Because Elijah's a fan of Madonna, let's have some fun and let's tease her. So this is what Madonna looked like like a couple of weeks ago. Now, what the fuck? Now, Madonna, I'll be honest with you guys. And I never found Madonna attractive. She, she's a... Beautiful woman, you can you can say. Like her talent, yeah, he, she's famous for her talent. I'm just trying to find her attractive. Yeah, and to me, I found her. Just, model, I know. I'm just, I'm just saying. Me, but that is irrelevant. Who gives a fuck what I think? But she was a beautiful woman, and she looked normal. She had normal dimensions. But she's always had plastic surgery. Put a normal, put a normal picture of her uh, on the site. This is this though, is pretty messed up, yeah. Let's let's not. This is a botched plastic surgery. That is the only way that it can be described. Of question. Do you prefer at 65, almost 66, looking botched or looking old as fuck? Looking, looking old, old as, as fuck. fuck. <laughs> looking <laughs> old <laughs> and natural. <laughs> Now, when I saw this photo, you know what she reminded me of, actually? What? Johnny Depp, when he shaved his beard after. Look at that. Look at these two puffy fucks. Aren't, don't they look the same? <laughs> look at that, man. Look. First of all, this is what Johnny Depp looks like when he shaves, man. This is right after the trial. I'm I'm trying to make him look bad. The guy is hideous, man. He slid himself. Johnny, again, he's old. He looks great for his <laughs> age. <laughs> Anyways, look at Madonna's <laughs> face. So it was horrible. And this week, literally yesterday, this tweet actually made... So she ate a lot of shit. People were tweeting. Like, بهدلوها online. Berah, this literally zaalni. This picture zaalitni. She shared this photo. She's I think like, she's making fun of herself. She said, "Look picture. how cute I am now that the swelling from surgery has gone down." Lol. She does look better, but so to me, she felt that you know she she feels like she needs to justify it. And Ma, like, ma, fit tweet abla kaman she. You know she was telling. You know, he and this Arab had sura for it was Noor. When she was 30, people were telling her, "Calm down, grandma." Ma barif shu. And she's always like been forced to look at us in a certain way. Hello, that's that's what I'm going to say. Anna, she looks. Th- uh, we can be honest and say that the plastic surgery looks hideous. Hey, uh, it looks hideous. Bess, the the thing is, I wouldn't call it hideous. No, she doesn't look ugly. I don't yeah. think she looks no, ugly. No, no. I'll say it. It looks 
hideous. If, if I was a child and I saw her, I would have been afraid of her. She looks like a cat. Totally. The people who do a lot of plastic surgery, you start looking like a, like a, like a cat, like a lion, like a tiger. Hala, those big she's cheeks. all swelled up. Mahala, under her celebration yes, tour, yes, yes. she has a lot Best of work here, done. In that photo, looking swelled up, I have no problem me saying this looks hideous. But the issue is, I don't blame Madonna for doing this, bro. She feels like she has to do this because anyone who works in Hollywood, anyone who's a musician, you feel this pressure, this societal pressure to look a certain way. So she never let, yeah, to let herself age gracefully. Yes, that's the sad truth, and yeah, that's it's upsetting. And I have no problem saying that this looks horrifying, and it does. But haram, yeah, subjective. And like, I'll be honest, I don't have a hard time feeling a lot of sympathy for uber rich and fucking famous yeah, people she, yeah, she came from nothing she, I don't, she changed literally the we world we get it you like La, her <laughs> just it like, yeah, nothing, you, you have to I, get educated I, on someone like her okay. bro bro we, everybody knows what Madonna has done we like, appreciate her she, yeah, today wouldn't be the same but her existence absolutely that does not change the fact that this is a monstrosity like, right yeah, there on the people the Grammys all they talked about how could you not bro look at this yeah, shows up on stage bro because Elijah Elijah Everybody knows Madonna's contributions. How many Grammys she's won, how many Lifetime Achievement Awards. Her accomplishments speak for themselves. Madonna is a legend. Nothing anyone says will ever reduce her accomplishments. Hey, the khalas. It not, doesn't need to be said anymore. It is so obvious. And, and they're giving disclaimers. We know. Everybody knows, bro. You think... Think she gives a fuck what I think? She's a she's a goddess among human beings. Well, haram, a song about her being suicide and a lot of the media if they shamed her looks. Absolutely, haram. I'm a dick for saying this. We shouldn't even be talking about looks, but she's famous. This is a podcast. We're trying to have a good time. Hello, stop bringing it down, bro. <laughs> stop bringing it down. <laughs> she looks horrible. Let me bring out that Johnny Depp <laughs> photo again. Look at that, <laughs> twinsies, bro. I'm a Johnny Depp trial. Had a like a shackle or it exploded TikTok on top. Yes, we did. 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 He looked decent he, in the trial. Exactly. Amazing, but trial. Just now that he shaved. Yeah, but like, that's a botch. He, looked, he looked botched as he looked fuck. Puffy. Not like that, bro. He looks better than Madonna here. Hala. Anyways, yeah, now Madonna. Madonna. Now the swelling <laughs> has gone down. And this is what Madonna looks like now. Anna Hone, I judge fit. And she's like, oh, look at me now. I don't look that bad. Haram. This does look better. Granted, this looks better. Have a video as that she looks even better. But. Um, that's like holy fuck, you know. Haram, this is this is what society does to people. Almost every like you'll this know. This is like, what comments like yours does. To actresses, people. shut up. Actresses <laughs> suffer, and actresses feel the need to get plastic surgery. Once you hit a certain age, you stop getting offered roles. You ladies know what I'm talking about. And I don't know? like this topic. Like, no, no, ma bade kona al hate wagon. In general, yani, inta tchayl, yani, inta hal, hada al anak shaklak bisha btedaya shwa. Imagine you're like a megastar. The entire fucking world, I'm tchera a shaklak. Yes, Miss Madonna. I know. Again, it's not her first rodeo. But she, she's, she's been dealing been, with this for forty been, years. She's gone through so much. Of this, bro, but this is a spe I've never spoken about anything like this before. But this is just kiti special case. Like with Fazia, bro. And I just admit, hey, you can disagree. You can tell me this is beautiful. You're like, but I find it attractive. You can yeah, call me this. a dick. <laughs> no, she doesn't look as bad as she's saying. Mishal Adnan, she looks honestly fair, to each his own. You guys, I do her. Because I know how I'm her age. But I'm her age type. Fakir fiya, yani. She dates people my age, which is totally cool. Totally cool. <laughs> Bro, she looks like she. Madonna, yeah. hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> everybody's everybody's free to have their own opinions. Anyways, this reminded me. Let's look up some other botched uh, surgeries. Really. Top ten celebrity botched plastic surgeries. Now, you guys might not know a lot of these celebrities. Like, I don't know who's this person. Joan Van Ark, before and after. Holy, Hello, you want to compare Madonna? Fuck. She looks amazing compared to them. Holy ah. shit, bro! She looks like a like a zombie, literally like a corpse. Okay, uh, who the who's Bobby Norris? Fuck is this guy? Botox, <laughs> lip filler. Okay, I mean he looks coming out ridiculous. Courtney Cox, and everybody knows Courtney Cox. She she did. Oh, Courtney Cox was a beautiful woman, man. I mean not my style, but some. But some yeah, halwe, my beautiful. <laughs> it's not that bad. They compared to Joan Van Ark, she's fine. Uh, Courtney, not bish, who's that? Heidi Montag. That's not that bad. No, it's she not. looked better before, but no. I think it's the makeup. Be the second uh, one. Hello. So she was young, and she didn't need to do that at her age. Uheke. Katie Price. Holy fuck. Yeah, that's uh, a different person right there. Yep, yep. Goddamn, Katie Price. Oh, Mickey Rourke. Do you guys know Mickey Rourke? I do. He's a great actor. He was in The Wrestler. He, wow, Shit. bro. He didn't even look like that. Like, like six years ago, he looked different. Like, if you watch him in The Wrestler, he already looked botched and fucked up. But so not like this. Still, this, he looks like he's wearing a fucking latex prosthetic mask. Heck? 
Well, he, he did boxing back in the day, celebrity boxing, and he broke his nose. That's when he started to do uh, plastic surgery. Make your work, Menzamin. That's why he started. Fuck, bro. Uh, Priscilla Presley. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's bad. It's bad. The cheek. Uh, whoa, the cheeks, lady. Oh, Carrot Top. Do you guys know Carrot Top? <laughs> he looked even more normal than this. Look at this fucking guy. He looked just like the skinny guy. He did, like, comedy with props. Look at this fucking... Holy shit, Carrot Top. Mean bad fee. Uh, Melanie Griffith. Oh, yeah. She used to be really beautiful. Melanie Wood. Oh, God. Yeah, this one. I don't Donatella know. Versace. Yeah, it's fucked up. I, bes- I really blame the plastic surgeon. Like, the plastic surgeon who, who, who did Madonna's work, he should have been like, Madonna, I refuse to do this. You're a beautiful queen. You're a beautiful goddess. I, I cannot take your money for this. I refuse to take your money. You know? Sure, sure. <laughs> money. Do I'm an idealist. Hey, I'm not gonna do, I don't want your blood on my hands, Madonna. Anyways, uh, I, I'm an asshole, folks. I'm trying to entertain you guys. I have to be the bad guy. Hey, I'll be the bad guy. We're at the end of our episode. I haven't even announced this, but we're doing a beatboxing competition. Now I'm beatboxing. No, 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 no. So, guys, <laughs> so when we did the Do Not Worry Awards, I reached out to some people and asked for some uh, musical performances. We wanted musical performances. And we got uh, Jonas made us a rap song. We did a music video and a fr- friend of the show, Giorgio Beatbox. He sent us, uh, he made us a beatbox song. I've been about like Tufiluk and stuff. It was great. We reached out to him and asked him to send maybe like a beatbox performance. What he ended up doing was he s- gathered like all of his beatbox friends, asked each of them to send us like a 10 to 20 second clip of them doing beatboxing. And then I wanted to do something with them, but I couldn't figure it out. Like putting them all what about didn't make much sense. So I, I never used those videos. And I've been sitting on them for weeks, but I want to use them. So I figured we're going to do a beatboxing competition. We're going to put all these beatboxers face-to-face against one another, and we're going to pick the best one. So here's how this is going to go. We have eight videos, and we're just going to do four different matches, two versus two versus two. We're going to have, like, semifinals, and then they're going to meet up in the finals. For some performances that were sent some videos that I'm not going to use, some of them weren't showing their faces. Ooh, we only needed eight, so I only chose eight. So if you guys weren't, if you guys sent Giorgio a video and it's not included, we're going to do the first battle. Johnny Saade versus Giorgio himself, Giorgio Hachite. So here is Johnny Saade. Let's watch his first performance. <laughs> Bro, it's so weird. The faces you have to make to do mm. beatboxing, it's kind of goofy. I'm not gonna don't let I love the Lebanese beatboxing community. We love you. And yes. I'm trying not to look at the video, but I'm trying to listen. This stuff is goofy. You guys gotta admit it. Like, I'm impressed. How does one like get the vibe? The what? second match. Now we had Johnny Saade versus Giorgio Hachiti. <laughs> Time to vote. I'm voting for Giorgio. Giorgio, oh boy. Giorgio, Giorgio. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Giorgio wins the first round. Uh, Johnny Sade, thank you for uh, for participating. I think Johnny Sade saw it. Abel Hamim, hey, the douche. I think if you douche, what are you Johnny, next time, but that says you'll make it. Giorgio wins the first game. The second face-off is between Umtis and Vikik BBX. Vikik uh, Beatbox. Here is our friend Umtis. Umtis. <laughs> And I this said, is cool. I like the Mbumbo. Mbumbo. <laughs> He's good, right? He's good. He's really good. I like it. I like a beatbox. Like, I'm pleasantly surprised. Mbumbo. Mbumbo. I like it. So, Hone. Emptis versus Vikik Beatbox. Let us see Vikik. Yo, that is some goofy faces right there. Like, I, I vote for him. Like, he's very good. I, interesting, uh, interesting sounds coming out of that mouth, but... Anna Imtis is getting my vote. So now our first semifinal is gonna be versus Giorgio Hachiti and Imtis. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. So Vivi can Now let's do another matchup before we get to the Giorgio versus Imtis. 
Anna. Elite Anius, who I'm going to say is my personal favorite. You guys will see why. I hope he doesn't get his copyrighted today, though. I'm just going to pause it for just copyright in case because he's doing it very well. Am I? Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Let's continue. Drop the beat. <laughs> Well, that's actually. sick. That's he's good. great. This guy's a. Let's pause it again for copyright in case because he's very good. He's like, I think the highlighted algorithm. Cool. He's great. Stop trying. So, hello, I'm not Chris. Chris, he's going versus Chris at Cryptic Beatbox. Look, like Chris, you have a... It's going to be hard beating Elite Anios. Yeah. He has good bass. Good bass, yeah. very talented. I like the lighting. Yeah, and it, compared to Johnny Sade, he saw the bedouche. Fadi Lana Taba, Chris Bess. I'm voting for Eli Tanyos. I think Eli is the... Yeah, I think I know who's going to win the whole thing. Eli Tanyos, you win the match. Hala Anna. Apollo Beatbox, the Dali Taiba. Here is our friend Apollo Beatbox. <laughs> Those faces are fucking crazy, bro. Yo, that guy's unhinged. He's really it's good. Really good. It's crazy as fuck. Hala the Dali type Ali. I like the the his video how it looks like. It's it's the creepiest video I would say, but in a good way. Cool. I love. I didn't mean creepy, but it's the glasses. I like the whole vibe. Very talented. Very I'm going to vote for Apollo. Anna I'm voting for Apollo. Elijah. Apollo. Apollo. Beautiful. Now we have our two semifinals. We have Giorgio. Can, are we going to watch them again? We're going to rewatch them. They're quick. Asteria. Okay. Hey, the Giorgio. Between Giorgio and Mtis, who are you voting for? Mtis. Mtis. I'm voting for Mtis. Giorgio. I'm sorry. We love you. He started this whole thing. A round of applause for Giorgio for gathering all these videos and sending them. Mtis, congratulations, you're headed Wait, to the actually finals. Wait, I vote Giorgio. Mtis was a... No, Giorgio, my vote would go... You're going to vote for Giorgio? Yeah. You're changing your anyway, vote? Okay. Mtis, Mtis still la. wins. Hala, between Apollo and Elitanios. Elitanios. Elitanios is going to take it. So for the final. Can we replay them for the final? Yes. So now for the epic finale. <laughs> Mtis versus Elitanios. Here is a few like seconds of... Like my copyright, the game can I take all right, I love it. Imtis versus Eddie Tanya. We're gonna play like six seconds of Eddie Tanya because he's too accurate. <laughs> like Votes, Eddie Tanya. Eli. Imtis. Imtis? Anna Elita? No, I'm just on a tiebreaker. You have, you're struggling between Imtis and Eli? If I voted for Giorgio, I'm saying you have Imtis, I'm not going to vote. Anna Elita, my vote is unwavering for his, his, my support for Eli. Okay. You're taking this too seriously, no? My hand. I'm not an American idol, no? I like. Yeah, yalla. Elitanios. Elitanios is our beatboxing champion 2023. <laughs> and with that, folks, we have reached the end of our episode. Let me, I forgot to thank patrons earlier. So let's do that now. Nur Jabur, Rudolf, Mark Iwan, we love you guys. Uh, Rhea D, Joey To, Danny Karam, Zain Rida. Got to your patrons, Jessica and Muhammad Namani, Andrew G, Jack Sleeman, and Burgery, the best burgers over there in Tripoli. And our brand new patrons, uh, Le Josh and she who shall not be named because she wants to remain anonymous. Thank you. We love you. If you guys want to support us, please support us on Patreon. We cannot keep this show going without you, and we mean it. 
Uh, God bless you. Like the video. Leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel. Did I say any of that in the intro? I don't know. You Subscribe did. to the channel. Become a Do Not Warrior. Help us cross the 8,000 subscriber mark. Uh, I will see you soon in the streets with my boxing skills, yo. As usual, folks. Do not.